This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 3, Number 62. So here we're asked to simplify the following rational expressions. Okay, so simplify just means to go ahead and make more simple using rules of exponents and fractions and everything like that. So here we want to be able to add, right? Well, first of all, we have a numerator and denominator. In the denominator, we have we're adding fractions, right? So we have a we have rational expressions in the denominator already. So let's go ahead and focus on the denominator alone. Let's leave x plus y in the numerator. And in the denominator, to add two fractions, remember we need a common denominator. So just between these two, um, the common denominator is going to be multiply this one by x over x, right? And this one by y over y. Right, we have one fraction times y over y, and the other rational times x over x. That's going to give us we multiply across y times one is y. Y times x is let's just call it x y. Plus one times x is x. Y times x again is x y. All right. Then we have x plus y in the numerator. Now we can go in and since we have a common denominator here, just looking at the denominator of the expression, we have a common denominator here that allows us to add the numerators. So then we have x plus y over xy. All right. So now we have the form of something divided by a fraction, right? It's not adding two different fractions. It's actually just a rational expression with one denominator. So we can set this to equal to the numerator x plus y times the reciprocal of the denominator. So the reciprocal of that's going to be x, y divided by x plus y, right? And then we're multiplying these, right? And remember, x plus y over here is over 1, okay? So we're going to be able to say, well, that's equal to x plus y times x, y over or multiplying so we just multiply x plus y right well we can see some things are going to get are going to cancel out x plus y x plus y right so this is just equal to x y so when we simplify this re this rational expression we get x y pretty much simplified right let's move on to part b part b again we have um a rational expression, we have this fraction over here minus another one. We're adding or subtracting, so we cannot just add numerators and denominators. We need a common denominator. The common denominator, well, this is x plus y, this is x. So we're going to have to multiply this side over here by over here, whatever's there, x plus y divided by x plus y. And over here, we want to multiply by x over x, right? That's equal to 1, so we can do that. That's equal to 1, so we can do it. Now we can go ahead and, well, when we're multiplying, we multiply cross. So x times x is x squared. In the denominator, let's just say that's x times x plus y, right? Minus, in the numerator, we have x minus y times x plus y. In the denominator, we have x times x plus y, all right? The whole reason why we did this is now we have a common denominator, so we can add the numerators. We have x squared minus x minus y times x plus y, right, divided by the, by the common denominator x times x plus y. So before we say we're done, let's go ahead and look at this and let's multiply it across, right? Let's distribute these binomials um, using the box method, okay? Because this is going to equal to x squared minus something here when we distribute that over x times x plus y. All right. So x minus y over here is in, in the box method, x plus y over here. x times x is x squared. x times negative y is negative xy. x times y is xy. y times negative y is negative y squared. So we, we're left with x squared minus xy plus xy minus y squared, right? 
Well, x squared and, I mean, not x squared, x, y, and negative x, y cancel out. We're left with x squared minus, and again, I'm keeping in parentheses because you're going to see the negative is going to distribute minus x squared minus y squared over x times x plus y. Well, now let's go ahead and distribute that negative. So that's equal to x squared minus x squared plus y squared, right? Because negative and negative are going to cancel. Divided by x times x plus y. Well, now we have these cancel out. And you're left with y squared over x times x plus y. All right. So let's examine this. We have y squared in the numerator. We have x times x plus y x plus y in the denominator. We can't simplify this anymore, so we're done, right? If we distributed the x there, we would be left with y squared over x squared plus xy. So either of these works. This one's actually a little bit better because we factor out the x, and um, it's cleaner that way and more simplified, actually. OK, so that ends for us. CPM. Pre-Calculus Chapter 3, Number 62.